on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Houston Astros and the Milwaukee Brewers. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 3 1. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, it'll be Tim Anderson. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Hit hard towards center. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. Batting third. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron. Standing in now, Aaron Judge. Chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. Scooped up. Throw on to first, two gone. Here's Pete Alonzo, runner in scoring position with two gone. Alonzo. And it's one and two. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Now in the box, Starling Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Oh. And this one's low here, so the count yeah. swells to three and one. He's only four pitches in, but he doesn't look too sharp to start the day off. And he takes ball four, so the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. In is Christian Yelich. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. Torres at the bag. On to first, a double play. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Ball. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3 1. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Frankie gets the sign with the payoff pitch. There's ball four. Into the box now, Shohei Otani. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 2 1 home. It's the outside corner for the second strike. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ready with another 2 2. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Here's Miguel Sano, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Wow, I think the heart of this system is right on top of us because it is really coming. And that's through for a hit. That is good. The At the plate now, Torres. I changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side and Kendrick will make the play on it for the first out. Striding in for Houston Joey Gallo. The left leader, Joey Gallo. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. <laughs> yep. 
Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. So he couldn't get the bat off the shoulders that time. Joey Gallo is sent packing for out number two in the inning. Skied into straightaway right. Chasing after it is Otani. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Now to the plate, Edwin Encarnacion, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Grinky ready now, the 1-1. One, one. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Judge is on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Next for Milwaukee, Howie Kendrick will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Zach Grinke. Nine, one, and two do up. Now the pitch. And this is lifted out towards straightaway center field. After it is Marte. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Acuna digs in now. Second appearance here. He grounded out to start the ball game. Three and two. Third inning, no score to this point. Swing and a ground ball to third. And there are two away now. So digging in now, Tim Anderson, one for one after a single this first time up. A 1 1. Line towards center field. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Stepping in now, Aaron Judge. High in the air out to center field. Marche is under it. And the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Ready now, Tom Murphy. He'll get to take his first cuts here. No contact there, and it's one and two. Whoa, he was swinging out of his shoes on that changeup. Must have looked real good coming in, but a different story once it got near the plate. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The two two it is looked at, and the count moves full. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. At the plate, Ryan Yarbrough. The pitcher. Ryan Yarbrough. The 1 1. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. 
Digging in, Starling Marte reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judges under it. And that retires the side. Up next, the power bat of Pete Alonso comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. And they'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2-2. Two and two. Outside and a full count, 3-2. and two. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So one away here with the bases empty. And the next to bat will be the big third baseman, Miguel Sano. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. But unfortunately, right at the shortstop for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that will bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. Two and one. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three-ball count. Strike two up in the zone. And he fouls this one off. And that's outside. He lost in ball four. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. First time up, he went down looking. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality A-B. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. Yeah, that's a fair ball lined to the right side. And this will bang up against the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. In now, Danny Jansen. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Here's the game within the game. You have a better matchup on deck. You got a three-one count in this situation. Don't be afraid to put him on base and attack the next guy. Digging in to try it again. Zach Grinky. He flew out in his last at bat. One and one. Here it is. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. Out of play. Torres at third, Gallo at second, Jansen on at first with two down. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. And here's Christian Yelich now. He's a dangerous hitter indeed as the reigning batting champion in the National League. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Hit back up the middle. Anderson picks it up, and that's the first out. So striding forward now, Alex Bregman. He drew a base on balls his first time up. 
Now the 2 1 pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Torres picks it up. Throw on to first is in time, and Grinky's got himself two outs. Shohei Otani digging in next. The right fielder. Shohei Otani. A bouncer to the left side. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Next up for the Strohs, Ronald Acuna. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Now the 2-1 is taken for strike two. Cutter and it doesn't make it back. Three and two. And obviously this guy's a double threat up there. He can run and he can go yard too. You don't want to walk him because he might steal a base on you, but you don't want to groove a fastball either because he can take you out of the yard. Got him to go down swinging there. Ronald Acuna goes down for the first out in the fifth inning. Smoke toward third. There to play it is Encarnacion, and that's the second out. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. 1-1. Swung on and missed for strike number two. Hey, I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Stepping in, Edwin Encarnacion. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Jansen gathers. And he makes the throw to first. Encarnacion is retired, and there's one away. Ready for another chance. Anthony Rizzo. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. So bases are empty here with two gone. And stepping in is the second baseman, Howie Kendrick. And he drops a change in on him there, and that'll run it full three and two. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Keith Alonzo. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And this is going to be extra bases here leading off the sixth. But the throw is offline and he's in there with two bases. Dakota Hudson takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the blue. Number 43. To the plate now, Miguel Sano. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Fouled away. The one two. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And there's one away. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No runs, five hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Astros to this point. Swing and a miss. And they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. 
Gallo. Here's Joey Gallo now. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The set and the 1 1. Count was two and one. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. With the base open, it's not the. This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. And they're going to hold that runner at third base, as even with two away, they didn't like now their chances there. Number nine. Into the box now, Danny Jansen. Mm, just low with the slider there. That's ball three. Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And he will get there to make the running play. And that will end the inning. Bottom of the inning now. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the 2 1 pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Trey Mancini will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Two and two the count. Now here's the pitch. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Weekly hit to third. And there's out number two. Here's Starling Marte. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Here's Granke's 1 2. Oh, that's out. Full count now, 3 and 2. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Now batting. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up Christian Yelich. The three-one is in there for a full count now, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Judge looks up, and that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. At the plate, Alex Bregman. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. Right side hit hard scooped up and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Dustin May is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 85. Jack McNeil is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Ball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Curveball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. 
hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you, you have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. Hot shot down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through into right. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. Now batting the seventh fielder, Donald Acuna. So now to the plate, Ronald Acuna. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Into the corner and slicing foul. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. Grounded back up the middle to second for one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game. As there are quickly two away now. So base is empty now after the double play, and stepping up is the shortstop, Tim Anderson. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. For the traditional seventh inning. Jeff Samarja gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Fastball well outside. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2-2 is looked at for ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Fouled off. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. Now batting, the third baseman, Edward. Standing in now, Edwin Encarnacion. 2-2 Two -two pitches fouled away. Has a look, now the pitch. And this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And he fouls this one off. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And it's fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the tenth pitch of this at bat. Full count still. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Squared that one up just a little late. The next 3-2. Fouled away. He's set. Here's the 3-2. and two. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And there's one down now. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. His past meetings with Samarja. He comes in hitting right at a 300 clip. He also has one home run. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Swing, and oh my. Hit him with the high. And it's out of the ballpark. Hey, that cleared everything. Stepping in now, Howie Kendrick. One and two now as that one's fouled off. 
Kendrick waiting. Now the pitch. That's popped up. Anderson into shallow left. He gets there, and that's the second out. Stepping into the box, Tom Murphy. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Nope. Three and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Popped up. Anderson is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. set for the start of the inning ready for another shot now Aaron Judge and he's over in this one batting out of the three spot starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally standing in Pete Alonzo he'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here yeah he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat but I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he set down for the second time this afternoon. Now that. So the big bat of Miguel Sano yeah. digs in next. Mm -hmm. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The two-and-one on its way. And he takes the ball three, so it's a full count now. Looked to me like he tried to do way too much on that 2-2 pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swing. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Labor. Four. One and one, here it comes. Two out with the man at first. Hit hard to the right side. Rizzo is there, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Luke Voigt is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Here now the 2 2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Digging in, Starling Marte. A couple of walks for him thus far. Now here it comes. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Ready to take his hacks again, Christian Yelich, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Strike two called, and it's even at two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it.
Matt Manning comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Digging in and looking for more, Joey Gallo. He singled his last time up. The 1-1. One -one. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The 1-2. That's high for a ball. It's two and two. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Up next is Danny Jansen. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Omar Narvaez will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Here's another one, two. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. set and the 2-2 pitch is laid off and the count runs full. Ronald Acuna will be next. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Marte is under it. Two gone. Riding in, Ronald Acuna. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And he misses low here, so the count goes to 3 and 1. Tim Anderson would be next. And that's taken for strike two, as now they're down to their final strike here this afternoon. A hey, pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Tim Anderson will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Last strike now for Houston. To two balls and two strikes now. Now a crowd announced at a bit over 23,000 comes to their feet. This is line to left. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Wow you don't see a closer finish better than that very often. Only needed four pitches to slam the door in the face and salt this game away for his guys. Four nothing to score this afternoon. The Milwaukee Brewers wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Dakota Hudson pitches well enough to get the W. Zach Grinke pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Brewers. Four runs on three hits, no errors, and they left one man on base. For the Astros, no runs, seven hits, no errors, they left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 40 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please drive home safely.